Hey, welcome back to another video. This time we're going to be doing Lab 5-5, which is identifying audit data requirements. Um, we're actually only going to be doing through part one, so um, follow along to get through part one. Okay, so for this lab, we're going to start off by going back to the DA audit working papers, and we previously did this um, with Lab 5-3 and Lab 5-4. So. Um, just go ahead, and I'm already logged into my OneDrive. So um, let me go back to the DA audit working papers. Um, and so we're going to look inside of the master audit file, and we're going to look for a document titled Audit Action Sheets. This one particularly. And I'm just going to open it to edit. So now we're going to look for audit procedures, procedures that evaluate data. So to begin, we're going to use a yellow highlighter to identify any master or transaction tables, such as vendors or purchase orders. So to begin, I'm going to highlight these employees, the supplies, and payments. Once again, suppliers is shown here and suppliers once again. Now, um, vendors or sorry, um, vendors or purchase orders are highlighted in yellow. With the green highlighter, we're going to identify any fields or attributes such as name or date. So I'm going to use my green highlighter to highlight like this. And then with a the blue hider, we're going to identify any specific values or rules, such as true, January 1st, or greater than. So should not also be related to, that's a rule. Should have valid data. Should only be made to approved. Except or provided by the controller. That's an exception to the rules, but also part of the rule and with supporting documentation. Also tagging along to this rule right here. Okay, so after you have identified um, with, with highlights, the information that was required, we're gonna create a new spreadsheet. So I've already opened up a new work workbook in Excel. I'm gonna drag it to the, okay, it's not working like I wanted it to. That's okay. Anyways, we're gonna call this or save as audit automation su summary. Let me save. Actually, I'm gonna wanna save it in the master audit file. So I'm going to look for my document. One second while I find my document. Anyways, I can't find my document. <laughs> but uh, I'm just going to, in the master audit file, I'm going to open a new Excel workbook. That way it's already in there. Um, so if I'll save as once again. And we're gonna call it audit automation. You see it's saving under the master audit file. And then you're going to summarize your highlighted data elements from the three audit action sheets. And we're going to use the following headers. Uh, excuse me while I add in my headers. Okay, so I've gone ahead and added my headers. And I'm just going to just include a border so that you can differentiate each one. And um, that is the end of part one for lab 5.5, identifying audit data requirements. Thanks for watching.